Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Daily Blues here on 100% Chelsea, giving you all the latest Chelsea transfer rumours, gossip, ins and outs of the club. Let's get to the first story of the day and the first one is John Obi Mikel. You know, a few of you, I've read in the comments and you guys have left amazing comments, but a few of you have said that you want Mikel to go. You think it's time, it's done, it's over, Mikel has to leave. And now he's in the headlines. He's in the news. John Obi Mikel. Apparently he's unhappy. Apparently the Fenerbahce director has flown to London to seal a deal for John Obi Mikel. Um, this would mean he's going to Turkey. This would mean he's going to Fenerbahce. And I think it's the right time, to be honest. I think um, it's time to move on from Mikel. He's one of the last veterans from the last um, Jose Mourinho team. All we have left is John Terry and Peter Cech. <laughs> now, everyone else has gone. Um, if Mikel's going, he'll be the latest to go. But um, John Obi Mikel, he's been a good servant. He's been a great servant, actually. He's, he's never complained. He's, he's been very professional. He's stuck to his job. He's done what he's had to do. He's parked the bus multiple times. <laughs> you know, that's his speciality. He comes on and stops the game. And um, he's a Champions League winner. He's a multiple title winner. He's, yeah. Mikel has been great. And um, I think it's time for him to go. We, we have Matic. If we're going for another defensive mid. Fabregas can play in the hole as well. Loftus-Cheek is coming through. Mikel's time is pretty much up. Um, so, John Obi Mikel, thank you. And um, good luck, to be honest. That's, that's all I can say. Fenerbahce for him would be a good club. It's a club where he'll be starting pretty much every game, I think. Um, he's got that raw energy about him. So I think they'll, I think they'll, they'll enjoy him. They, they'll, they'll like him in, his, in their team. So good luck to him if he does end up going. Apparently the director has flown to London to see the deal. So we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how that one plans out. The next one is Varane. Varane has been at the top of the Chelsea Interactive shortlist, should I say. All the Chelsea fans on the internet, the most popular signing they want seems to be Varane. And um, I couldn't agree more. You know, I, I've been saying for about two or three years now, I've been saying from the days of when we had Di Matteo, that Varane should come to Chelsea. <laughs> you know, he's, he's young, he's energetic, he's fast, he bombs forward, he comes back, he's, he's aggressive. He's, he is a Mourinho man. He's played under Mourinho, he's, he knows what to do under Mourinho's way of playing, um, I think Varane would be a perfect fit. And with Ivanovic, even though Ivanovic, even though for his age, he's at the top of his game. He seems to still be at the top of his game. Varane would be a good guy to bring in to start introducing, you know. Once Ivanovic starts to go down, Varane can start to replace him. Varane would be the perfect replacement for Ivanovic, I reckon, in the next one or two years. When Ivanovic starts to come down, Varane will be the man. That rhymes. Anyway, <laughs> Varane is top of the interactive um, shortlist for, for, for all Chelsea fans. And I hope Chelsea recognise that and they go for him because I definitely want to see this guy at Chelsea. Under Mourinho as well and the age that he has, unbelievable. I would definitely take him. He's not playing at Real Madrid. He's not really been given much game time. I think it would be really, really good deal for a cut price to bring this guy to Stamford Bridge. So Jose, make that happen. Next is... Chelsea have apparently entered the race. Now, I've, I've seen this rumour for, for quite a while now, for the past week and a half, and I never really spoke about it because I didn't see any credit to it. I didn't really see any, you know, I, it didn't seem really true. But now, apparently, it seems to be gaining, gaining some ground. Charlie Austin is apparently in the race, you know, for, for Chelsea Football Club. Chelsea Football Club want Charlie Austin. And... Do I want him? With Didier going, if we bring Falcao as well, if we go for another striker, depends if Remy is going. I think it depends on the Remy deal. If Remy is going, I'd take Charlie Austin in an instant. Why? Because if we bring Falcao, we'll have Costa and Falcao as our main two. Now, Charlie Austin has come from QPR. I'm sure he would be more than happy to sit on the bench for Chelsea and win titles. You know, <laughs> I think he'd be more than happy. Charlie Austin is that player where for him it would work. You know, he wouldn't complain because even though he's a really good player, he's come from a lower level. And for him to hit such a high club straight away, 
it's a big thing for him. So to sit on the bench, to sit on the bench is big enough for him. Um, I think he'd play that Remy role, that that secondary striker, that guy to bring on, that guy to start in the Carling Cup games, that guy, well, Capital One. Um, I'm old school, <laughs> and um, he would be happy with that, I think. So Charlie Austin, I think, I think would be good backup, a great backup striker, great backup striker. He's quality. He's English, you know, <laughs> that's important, and um, he's he, he's already played in the Premier League. He understands the rough side of the Premier League. He'd be a good fit for Chelsea, I reckon, definitely. I would go for him, definitely go for him, if Remy goes to West Ham, because West Ham won him for £8 million, so we'll see how that one goes as well. And the last and least, the main event of this video is, I have said that Chelsea might, might sell Peter Cech. Um, or let him go to Arsenal. Arsenal seem to be the favourites. He wants to stay in London. Arsenal want him. It pretty much seems like a match. But Jose Mourinho has said that, or the reports, the sources are saying that Mourinho wants a part exchange. If Czech is going to Arsenal, he wants an Arsenal man back in return. And he has two options. He wants two options. He wants either Walcott, or Chamberlain and that's a smart deal that's a very smart deal on Mourinho's part because they're both English they're both wingers they can both play in the middle they're both versatile and it would fit it would fit very well um, should anything happen to Hazard or William boom Walker or Chamberlain's there should anything happen to Oscar or Fabregas in the middle you can easily play one of them in the middle if anyone moves into the middle like William or Hazard you can stick any of them in the wing it's they're very versatile players now Walcott is pretty much the one who likes to bomb forward, attack more. He's very, he's a lot more technical. Chamberlain is, he's got pace, but he's more physical. You know, he he can track back, and um, it will be hard for me to tell you who Mourinho is going to go for. But now with this development, Peter Cech going to Arsenal. Arsene Wenger is not letting. Chamberlain or Walcott go. He is not willing to let any of them be part of the deal. Now, I don't know how that's going to impact the Czech deal, but if that means Czech is staying at Chelsea, I'd be more than happy. <laughs> I would be more than happy. It's either for me, if I'm for me to stay happy, it's either Czech goes and we get either Walcott or Chamberlain because it would fit perfectly, or Czech stays at Chelsea. And Mourinho seems to be sticking by that, but Wenger is not willing to let any of those two go. So that might sabotage the whole deal. We might see Czech stay at Chelsea, or who knows, he might end up going to Tottenham. <laughs> and I know none of us would like that, so let's wait and see what happens. But um, if Wenger's smart enough and he wants Czech, he's going to have to let one of those guys go. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, let me know who you want. Walcott or Chamberlain? Who do you think would be the better fit at Chelsea Football Club? Um, who do you think would, would fit in more to the team, who'd fit into Jose's plans a lot more? Chamberlain? the pacey more physical guy or Walcott the pacey more technical guy let me know in the comments um, let me know on all the rumors that I've mentioned in today's video leave me your thoughts who do you want in this transfer window again in the comment section below subscribe to 100% Chelsea and I'll see all of you tomorrow for another edition of Daily Blues so have a good day guys and take care